that lay, I mean not the sum. He gon' roll when it's right. Ain't no question they gon' make him take a soul in the night. Once he ran from automatics, he done chose. Yo, yo, Vito, man, what's good, bro? Hey. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? You been you been you been a little low right now. We ain't seen you in a minute, man. How you been, bro? So be good. Bro. So, you get out of house arrest, got a shake back, got a depth to you know, house arrest like jail, so shit. Got to shake back, get back to, you know what I'm saying, regular program, take a little time. Got to get your paper right. For sure, for sure. You know? For sure. So, like, you know what I'm saying, going going to jail this time, bro, like, like what's some things that you think you might have changed in your day-to-day -day lifestyle? Like, what's some things you learned or, or realized? But now, I think um, going to jail probably brought me out of shell, like, probably opened, opened me, made me be more friendly type shit. I start seeing a lot of people that fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, like, growing up, I never really just, never really just, if you weren't laced around me somehow by somebody, I never fucked with you, so I never just been a friendly type. As I got, when I got locked up, niggas was just so showing niggas so much love that were like, now I'm starting to see all the shit, nigga do really fuck with a nigga type shit. Sure, at sure. first, damn, because at first I feel like, you know what I'm saying? It was time I feel like shit. I don't know who against me right now. Yeah, for sure, for shit, sure. sure. So like getting out of jail, bro. You know what I'm saying? You back to the music shit. Like a lot of people in the DFW. Like when we hear your music, bro, we say you got the best flow in DFW. Like who are some of your inf like influences or inspirations? Rapping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like growing up, it was a young nigga. Shit, Lil Wayne, of course. Mm -hmm. Weezy. And then if it had to be a big rap or money bag, but I, but I ain't gonna lie that when it come down to it. For the show, niggas like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The gang, niggas like running them, you know what I'm saying? Slick them, just rapping amongst them, the energy type shit. We just go thugging it, yo. Just go sit in that bitch, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Man. Smoke thug and shit. Shit have just happened. We even try to make this hope, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Damn. Now, shit, like, show. you got the red, like, the new red bottles, bro. Did you think it was going to be as big as it is now? Uh-uh. I was just, you know what I'm saying? So when you see the numbers rising, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's going up to 500,000, 600,000, 700,000 on up. Like, what's your mindset? Like, like how you thinking around this time? I ain't gonna lie, I was feeling that shit, but on the same note, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm knowing bro them on this stuff, like Quinn, Quinn and FN, and Tuesday. I know they lit, you know what I'm saying, at the time. So shit, they doing them type of numbers. Hmm. Both of them on there, then they got yeah, yo, we talking about Three niggas that's really lit in Texas, you know what I'm saying? So shit, it really posted in them. Posted, mm -hmm. They posted it them type of numbers. No, um, shit show, shit show down, bro. So like, you moving forward, you know what I'm saying? Now you, you free, you not on house rest, nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? You back on your shit. What can we expect from you? Like, what you got coming for us? For sure, I got some shit drop. I got a little mixtape drop with Mary Romero. That's coming soon, for sure. Then a whole bunch of singers, you know what I'm saying? I'm assuming me and Slick finna drop this new bitch that I heard earlier that he ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't he ain't never let me hear I want to drop that hoe. That bitch hard, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, man, I finna do some video. I hit my paper bag right, I'm fucked up. For sure, for sure. So, like, getting picked up, bro, like, without saying too much about the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? You got picked up on the charges that you got. Like, what was you thinking around that time? You was, like, confused or, like, how was you thinking about it? No, I went to jail for, um, violating probation and... A gun and um some goddamn weed, some bullshit. I went to jail for violating probation, piss case, weed case, and shit. When I got in that hoe, and I was waiting to get a bun for my probation violation, they put some new charges on. Me. Mm -hmm. So when I was in there and caught the new charges, yeah, I was super fucked up. For sure, I was for still sure. on shit like shit. Make that bun, goddamn. Damn. We made them other buns. We gotta make this one. Finna get the fuck up out this hoe, goddamn. Nah, real shit, real shit. Now, I, I actually covered that story on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? It, it did some, some good views on there. Like, when you see me, like, covering that type of stuff, like, how does that make you feel? Like, you think we going too far with the content or what? Nah, I fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? I love, I love that shit when I see new shit about me. It made me feel like somebody. I want to feel like somebody. I'm, I'm sure. trying to be somebody, you know what I'm saying? So, sure. I mean, but shit, like, you, you one of the names in Dallas right now, you know what I'm saying? You been there ain't good enough, man. You know what I mean? So, what's the end goal for me, though? Trying to be big, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be big, like, where my presence now, like, I better not be able to go nowhere in my city and the motherfucker act like they don't know how I am. I had a head, you don't know how I am. You know what I'm saying? For sure. For sure. Bigger than that, though. Real shit, bro. So, like, with you being back and forth from Dallas and Fort Worth, you think that, like, helped your career here or does it hurt? Like, how do you make, how do you think it feels? I feel like 
it healed me. I don't know how the hell they could have heard it. I feel like it, it healed me because, nigga, with times, I probably would go in the studio and punch in, but I probably be writing. I probably only punch in, like, when I roll half a song and not the whole song. But, like, when I came around there, it was really like, you know what I'm saying? When I was just coming around with some rap shit, because no, nigga was thugging with them, nigga when they was just on the rap shit. So, when nigga finally really got on some rap shit, nigga just rapping. Just start making the nigga more comfortable. I wouldn't have made a lot of shit. If I wouldn't have made red dots, yeah, yo, sit there over me, bitch. Make a song, make a song. Don't say no words with C's in it. Like Damn. sitting over, <laughs> nigga. We in the yo together type shit, hipping each other, make a song. Nigga probably get stuck. Bitch, bitch, say yeah, Trey. Bitch, say shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That keep a nigga going where a nigga don't get stuck. Sometimes nigga get stuck. Nigga write a block so so much that a nigga just leave that shit alone. Fuck that song, bitch. Sure. I'm be back to that house. Never come back to it. Yeah, okay, real shit. shit real shit. So like with me hearing like these stories more about Yayo, you know what I'm saying? It feels like he's more of like an influencer, really like a rapper for real. Do you feel like he get the proper credit he deserves in DFW musically? From the people from from a side, he can get it from a it's a side that don't it's gonna always be them niggas that love you, it's gonna always be them niggas that hate you. So you know what I'm saying? I feel like from the people that love him, I feel like we give them, you know what I'm saying? So but it's gonna always be the people that hate you ain't gonna give that credit. For sure, for sure. Now, shit, like you said something, bro. Like, you said it's from a certain side. Now, in like your neighborhood, you've been having like a long, ongoing situation with a certain side of your neighborhood. Like, how's that like for you going back to that neighborhood? What the hell did you talk about? I'm saying like, you know what I'm saying? When you when you Who had you, talking about? you had to say cheese interview, saying like yeah. the guys from your neighborhood is a long going situation, like altercation with those guys. Now, you know who that is? That shit dead. That's, that'd be like, um, the other side, Nilsky, Nim, or BFG, or some okay. shit like that. That'll kind of be some shit like that. That's who a nigga was beefing with back in the gap. Well, not BFG, but we used to be with the other side. They The niggas older than Nilsky, Nim. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But shit, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. When it comes to my hood, like, if I'm over there, I be, if I'm anywhere, it's about some money. I'm anywhere on earth. It, it's gonna be about some money or about my career. For sure. You know what I'm saying? If I'm with a bitch, it's probably about some goddamn money. For sure. Like, so. Nah, uh, straight up, straight up, bro. Now, like, I see you got the double M change, you know what I'm saying? You're up that hard for real. I, I seen the interview, I wanna ask you this. Like, the guy that was sitting in the back seat of the Put Yourself On interview with Rahi, yeah. is that double M? Big love, that's big, bro. For okay, sure. you gotta, damn, you gotta change for him too as well. Yeah. Like, with you losing these people, like, how does that make you feel? Like, how do you even, like, cope with that shit, bro? It hurt. It it hurt. I ain't gonna say I shook this shit, because for sure, he big, bro. He was motivation, big motivation. You know what I'm saying? When he came to paper, when he came to rapping, he, it was a time, you know what I'm saying? Before he died, we were going half on shit, half on cameras, half on logos, you know what I'm saying? That's when that bands on bands shit come back. So you probably see bands on bands on some of my shit. And that's where it come from. You know, type shit. So we're gonna have on computers and shit. Really, he was pushing me, you know what I'm saying? He really wanted that, wanted that rap shit. Whole that type shit. So, so when he kind of died, he kind of slowed the nigga down again. He kind of pushed me away from the rap shit. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Damn. So, like, let me ask you this, bro. Like, you think if you wouldn't have had so many breaks with the rap shit, you'd have been already blew up? Um, yeah. So, you think like the area you from, like being from Dallas, when Dallas is not really that hot musically, do you feel like that plays a role in like what's going on musically? It slightly do, but now, nah, nigga, cause you know what I'm saying? You got niggas like for sure three. You know what I'm saying? You got niggas like Yella. For sure they done went big, you know what I'm saying? Farther than a lot of Dallas niggas type shit. Right. So shit, it's still on me. It ain't just like, you know what I'm saying? So for it's, sure. I can't blame nobody else. So, shit, so damn, I shit, like, a lot of people may not know you was in Mo3, like, one of his first videos, for real. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Can you kind of explain, like, how y'all connection was? I used to have a close partner that was his partner. And so I was in jail. My partner used to always, boom, talk, let me listen to his music from jail and talk about him. I never hung with, bro, then. So when I got out of jail, it was kind of like, bitch, boom, this, ooh, 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 so shit, we fuck with each other now. I'm hearing he rapping, and he ain't had no videos and no shit like this at the time. He just trying to rap a bitch going hard. 
So shit, you know what I'm saying? It would never. I wasn't really on no rap shit. You know what I'm saying? We just played mm-hmm. in the street. So niggas start fucking with bro to the point where me and this nigga start fucking with this little bitch. I fuck with this little bitch. He fuck with a hunger. We start with be around each other. And nigga end up really locking in like that. I end up living with shit. With three? Yeah. Damn. So, Damn. So like, what was y'all day to days like? Like, what was y'all doing for fun? Like, what was y'all? Shit, sometimes I ain't gonna lie, bro, a ditch a nigga had leave a nigga. We we had um it was some it was sometime like it was the girls stay across the street. They still around, you know what I'm saying, somewhere. But we'll we'll go chill at they shit. Me, him, my other little partner Ted's, his partner, that's how I knew him, Ted. So shit, when a nigga a nigga fucked with three so much that his partners became my partner, you know what I'm saying? Like boy boy Ted's Debo, you know what I'm saying? All them like I fuck with them to this day type shit, you know what I'm saying? So shit, all them I met them through them. So when three of them move around, shit, I probably be with boy, boy. I probably be across the street at all the home girl have we chilling there or some shit. Yeah, okay, so, okay, for sure. Look, I go back to the hood. I go back to my hood. Come back around, bro, and shit. You know what I'm saying? I was just scrambling at the time. I probably sleep at a bitch house. For sure, for sure. So like around this time, were you doing music? Yeah. Like, you wouldn't even think about doing music. I was doing music, but I was shy. So I wouldn't let nobody hear it. Like, you couldn't hear that shit. <laughs> that shit was no... Like, three was around me for, like, probably a year before he ever... Damn, bitch. woo woo said you be rapping. Bitch, let me hear that shit. All right, bitch. Damn, bitch, you got a mixtape. Bitch, you need to be in HSM. You need to be in HSM. Like, on some rap shit. I'm not, bitch. Really, I'm... B-Love was hard on this shit. He ain't like that shit. Oh, oh God. He like you... He like ain't level more three. Nah. Damn. He really fucked my name. I don't live my name. I never fucked up. Like, that's why three ain't used to come around like that. Because, love. Damn. For sure. So, it was always a little, uh, like, my partner used to kind of be fucked up with me, fucking with him. But some some of them fucking with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, my, my, my big bros probably fucked up with me, fucking with him type shit. But my young niggas. Rocking with me type shit, you know what I'm saying? For sure, damn, that's, that's, that's some crazy shit. So, like, in Dallas, bro, y'all, y'all feel like, or DFW as a whole, do you feel like you have to pick sides with the music shit? Like, how do y'all feel like... You don't got to pick no sides, stay a motherfucking ass out the way. You got to pick no sides, stay out the way. You know what I'm saying? But once you get on the side, you got to stay on that side. That's what it is. So if you indulging it and you end up being on the side or somehow you landed on the side... You know what I'm saying? Because you can come in and play have no points in nothing. If you somehow land on the side, you better stay on that motherfucking side. Do right by that side, nigga. Damn. That shit. You think it should be like that, though? Like, why can't everybody just fuck with everybody? Shit. You can't. I just. I, don't, I mean, shit. It's happening, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, you really can't do that. Fuck that. You can't, shit. There's some wild shit going on out here. Yeah. Everybody just can't fuck with everybody. Yeah, no, straight up, straight up, straight up. Damn, bro, so like, wait, you know what I'm saying? You and Mo3 having the relationship y'all had, it sounded like it was closer than just music because it started off without music, you know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. It was way different. It was never about no music. Right, right, right. So like, after him passing away, like, do you ever have any kind of like regrets on like possibly fixing what y'all had going on before he passed? Was there any regrets? Regrets? Can't say I had no regrets, but it done crossed my mind like, if bro wasn't being so flow, a nigga could have did this shit before shit start escalating. A nigga could have put you deep in the streets because you ain't in the streets, you know what I'm saying? They could have put you deep in the streets like, you know, this, that, that ain't this, you know what I'm saying? And it wouldn't have been no misunderstanding because everything come back to misunderstanding. And some niggas just some hating ass niggas, so shit, hate you go a long way. So, I ain't gonna lie. So, damn, that's some real shit you said, though. So, <laughs> I gotta ask you this too, bro. Like, you a drippy, y'all. Y'all be having, like. Man, I don't know drippy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't know, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's it's so funny to me because it's like, people really come to me, like, about this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, on some shit, like, whether it's this, that, he, there, this, that. But I'm like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was mad at the beginning. I ain't gonna lie. At the very beginning, when all this shit was going on, but I don't even know, bro. And he be seeming kind of on a, not on a, like, Bro don't seem like my type of, like, he my type of guy. So it's like, he ain't no nigga that I'll beef with. He really, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to hit. He really don't seem like he really a yeah. me type nigga. So it's like, 
I really feel like it's everything a joke to him. He be having fun or some shit. Yeah, that's what I, that's my next. And so it'd be like, he having fun, you know what I'm saying? I ain't having fun, you know what I'm saying? That's my next thing, bro. Like, when y'all be on live, arguing with each other, there's a little chemistry there, bro. Like, he asked you got the PS5, you, you flashed out about the PS5, you like, you asked about the PS5. So I'm like, <laughs> how we beefing? You asked me, I got a PS5. And I ain't gonna lie, I'm like, what's up, bro? So I, and you see, I ain't even show no PS5 at first. I'm really like, bro, why you talking about PS5, bro? What you on, bro? But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, do you feel like maybe Drippy really just want to be cool with you? You know what I'm saying? Y'all can probably. I think Drippy <coughs> be handling. <coughs> I mean, be having fun, and I think <coughs> Drippy be losing his pages all the time. So <coughs> I'm gonna go ball to beat up. <coughs> I'm gonna go ball to yell. Yeah. I'm gonna go ball to these niggas that I know be feeding back to the bullshit I be talking about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We finna get my followers back up. I'm finna get me some Dallas hoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so like, what you understanding that though? Like, is it is there any kind of like, I really kind of fuck this nigga for real, like, awesome. Nah, I don't fuck with him at all. <laughs> Damn. I don't fuck with him at all. It's, okay. But in my beef with him, I, I don't take him serious to beef with him. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, he ain't nobody I think about. For sure, for sure, for sure. For sure. Now you you were around when Goyeo dropped the uh, No Quits. It was like a slight diss at Sauce Walker. Like when was, I used to fuck with Sauce, yeah, yeah. yeah what so, about? so like what you hear, like I, I I know you probably heard it before it released. You know what I'm saying? Like what was your thoughts on it? Did you tell him like nah? Was you like yeah, go ahead and do it? Like what was your thoughts on that? Man, a lot of niggas brown that man, so shit, I don't never tell that man nothing. So I just be in the background, turn up like yeah, bitch, that's that hot shit, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Drop this shit. You shooting a video tomorrow? All right, bitch, I'm coming to that hoe. We in there, how we lit. Oh, I'm sure. now, what he doing? You know what I'm to be honest, I ain't never think of them niggas like, um, nobody to beef with. Right. I don't look at them like that, but like, to be honest, they ain't nobody that, they ain't nobody I want to beef with. I feel like it's dry. I feel like I ain't did none of y'all. Y'all ain't did none of me. I ain't did none of y'all. Right. All that cap ass shit, we ain't finna cap on the internet with y'all. They like, we... We did some. Y'all can play them type of games, but shit, we can't do it back to y'all. And y'all a thousand miles away, you know what I'm saying? Even when y'all do come, y'all not just, you know what I'm saying? So, straight up, straight up. So, like, with rap being like a, a sport in a way, you know what I'm saying? It's competitive. People diss each other every now and then. Like, what's too far for a rapper to diss? What's up, talking about his dad, Pilots? That's the line right there. I ain't gonna lie, don't mention me, period. You don't, don't mention me, period, like you dissing me. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? To where it's known that you dissing me. Don't let me know. I don't give a damn if I know you dissing me and nobody else can tell. You know what I'm saying? We had a situation you rap about it and only me and you can know that you talking about me. Hell yeah, nah, we don't fuck about that. Yeah, straight up, though. All right, so, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Fulio, he had an interview saying that he thinks the the new beef between NBA Youngboy and Lil Dirk is the modern day. Biggie vs. Tupac. What you think about that statement? You agree? Disagree? Um, I don't know. I don't know what Tupac and Biggie beef was like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, I don't, like, growing up, nigga, my Tupac was Lil Wayne. He was hard. I wasn't listening to fucking Tupac. No, nah, I'm sure. sorry. I ain't trying to talk about it, bro. You know what I'm saying? He probably ain't dead. He probably, yeah. I don't know, but I wasn't listening to probably this Lil Wayne, so like, I don't know nothing about no big and pop beef. I'm but sure. shit, Young Boy and Dirt, <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie, them niggas lit. For sure. I fuck with Dirt, I fuck with Young Boy. I don't give a damn about that motherfucker beef. For sure, I ain't sure. OTO. Right, <laughs> for sure, for sure. So, uh, I, I did an interview this week, bro. I interviewed uh, Rainwater. You know what I'm saying? He, he kind of revealed that he's no longer managing number seven. You know what I'm saying? They're kind of going back and forth. Like, how do you how do you feel about that situation? What do you think about it? It's not surprising. It's just not surprising. It was never, I'm already knowing what's going on over there. It was never no real, you know what I'm saying? Real bun, real friendship, real. Oh, I feel like he's a real good artist. No, none of that, nigga. It was some, some old shit. I don't really want to speak on this shit though. No, for sure. You know what I'm for sure, for sure. Like, it ain't that. surprising, boys. So. I respect that for sure, for sure. Damn, bro. So uh, I do gotta ask you this. You know what I'm saying? I just talked to uh, T. Slick about the statements that Charleston White made. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. 
don't get on. I heard that man say something about snitching and this and this and all that. So I don't condone it, bro. Like what? It, like I don't, I don't feel him. I don't pay attention to nothing he say. Like I ain't gonna lie. I mean, but let's just keep it real though. Like he is a civilian though. Like is that still snitching or is that? You know what I'm saying? If something no, happened, you, you got a point there. Right. You got a point there. He still be going harder though. Okay. Like, oh, I'm. Talking about people that's dead and and all this like who what the fuck we do? I don't know, like he just be going hard, too hard now. I don't condone none of that shit. Sure. But you right though, cause I wouldn't feel like the old lady across the streets that snitching. I wouldn't look at her like, you a snitch, snitch at nah, she te- you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She being a sub I feel you on that. Yeah. But nah, bro be trying to, you know what I'm saying, bro done been to T D C and all this you can't turn civilian. That shit dead. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. right now. For sure, for sure. And they're going too hard. <laughs> for sure. Now, damn, bro. Like, another rapper from DFW. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm sure you, you know what I'm saying? You're familiar with Asian Doll. Uh, she's she's dated a couple rappers after King Von. A lot of people saying she's just cloud chasing at this point. Do you feel like that's cloud chasing or is she just, like, grieving or is she just doing what she feel like doing? Like, how do you feel about that? I feel like that if I'm fucking with somebody and I die, live your motherfucking life. I don't see how she be cloud chasing because <clears throat> on my side of the end, because I don't be knowing these niggas. So I know her. So shit, if anything, she introduced me to them. Goddamn. Mm-hmm. Shit, that's my first time seeing them. I've been seeing her. So I feel like she big. She got a song that's big. She want to damn this big artist that people that really just don't be giving credit to probably because she a girl. You know what I'm saying? But she big. Right. I, don't see, I don't look at her like she clout chasing. I look at her like she a female and she doing what females do. Like, what's she supposed to do? Like, yeah, that's, that's real shit, though. Nah, that's real shit. Shit. Now, there's been a debate going on in the DFW as far as is the DJs in DFW really breaking music, new artists, you know what I'm saying? Or is it more of the blogs? Who do you feel like break more new music? I feel like the blogs, of course, because it's easier for them to blog than a DJ is to DJ. But I feel like it's DJs out here that go hard for that is. So you can't really just say that. You so niggas just out here going hard on the internet than in music that you talking about. So that's why this shit ain't adding up. That's why they ain't getting played and shit cause they not doing shit. You got people I go to the club, I done heard a lot of Dallas people, you know so I done heard the big X nigga. I done heard goddamn um I done heard the little bird gang niggas. Of course, the main Freddie Yellow. I I be hearing Dennis people when I go into the club. Okay, but, but, but he hit that hoe. He fuck around, so he gon' he gon' keep spinning. He like he really nobody can ever say that about hit that. So okay, okay, I see what you're saying for sure. Y'all make better music than they spin your shit. Okay, hey, for sure. Yeah, real shit. I, I agree. I agree with you on that one, bro. Like a label approach you. You know what I'm saying? With a good deal for you. Would you sign? You sign it. it. I'm not staying independent. Because I'm telling you, it's like this. It's few people out here. Some people out here really, I, I don't know how to put it, like they they got it all. So it's it's very few that got it all together and they feel they can do it on their own. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I feel like a lot of people do need guidance. You know what I'm saying? Because some shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the streets, so shit. I'm not gonna get out the streets cause me rapping shit. They gonna probably have to lift a nigga up at this hoe, make a nigga feel comfortable to her, and they ain't gotta be in the street Damn. doing that shit. Get a nigga, sit a nigga down. Cause I ain't gonna sit myself down. Right. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, straight up. <clears throat> now, with you, you know what I'm saying? With your, like your background, you know what I'm saying? Even like your parents, do you feel like a lot of fans be scared to approach you? You know what I'm saying? Even knowing who you are? Like just nah, like pictures think, and shit like that? Nah, I think, I don't know. Cause I, I a lot of people take approach me and take pictures, but I feel like I'm friendly. Like when I feel like I feel like I'm a friendly person to like be out with on me or no aggressive shit or no. Okay. So shit, if I see somebody stirring too much, I ain't gonna just off the muscle just get on no B shit. I'm just trying to see what it's about sure. first and then. Shit show, shit show. Man, what's up? Oh, hey, yeah, bitch, that's me, bitch. What's up, bitch? <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, you want to take, all right, bitch, take us a picture, bitch. Take us a picture. Yeah, that's, love, that's
Now, uh, Gunna Measy just came home. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people saying that he might have got his style from Mo3. You know what I'm saying? Or he trying to copy Mo 3's strategy. Like, I know you I ain't like him just being around. Right. So, you know, I ain't never used to like Gunna Measy because, you know, he was my partner. Right. So, shit, I was taught about to like him. You know what I'm saying? Because that's my partner. Right. So, shit, boom. But just from that, her, and being in the mix. Nigga, I think them niggas was rapping together, uh, rapping around each other. They fucked with each other so tough that that became they flow. I don't think that Measy took Mo3 flow. I think that Measy been rapping like that and Mo3 start rapping like that. I think Mo3 was a singer. Like he could always sing and, and Measy rap like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. And I feel like three star rapping like that, but they was partners, so it was he was able to do that. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like I wouldn't ever look at my partner upside his head. Man, you rapping like me. Man, we trying to pop. That's you gotta do that, do that, but you probably do it better than me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Damn. Sure. Damn, so like when you seen him click up or not even click up but like sign to cool. Get a co sign by Freddie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Look, when you come down to it, Freddie really like the main, like, Dallas, anybody gonna fuck with Freddie because, like, he, like, the main Dallas rapper that's close to the streets type yeah. shit, like, and he, he gonna blow. fuck with you, right. yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, that ain't nothing, that ain't nothing that I don't see, like, Freddie, Freddie, like, like, I heard you say some shit earlier, like, about Freddie fucking with CJ up, uh, like, some shit like that, like, that shit ain't, that shit ain't, nigga can't look at Freddie and be like, I think I don't fuck with you because you fuck with him, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit ain't got, what we got going on ain't got going on, ain't got nothing to do with him. You know what I'm saying? He got shit going on that we don't got nothing to do with. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, sure. I respect that, man. Shout out Freddie, for sure. Yeah, for sure. He's doing his thing. Now, uh, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, if people want to tap in with you, bro, you know what I'm saying? Link with you on anything, man. Where people follow you at, bro? Vito Rich had Instagram, Facebook, goddamn. Shit, be the rich ass at gmail.com if it's really important. That lay y'all ain't about the sum. He gon' roll when it's right. Ain't no pressure, they gon' make him take a soul in the night. Once he ran from automatics, he done chose not to fight. We gon' catch.